Hey guys, this is Rai Snow. Here's a quick tour for the 2D tile editor that I've been developing. So for now, I'm using these NES Legend of Zelda tiles as sample. I believe I've included all the tiles. There are little more than 200 tiles since uh, each tab contains 100 tiles. And uh, this panel represents a single screen and the current setting is 16 tiles by 15 tiles, uh, which is the default NES screen setting. But uh, you can change this if you want. And I made an option button here. So uh, I've prepared three templates. So NES or Tab Graphics or SNES or Sega Genesis. So you can choose one of them and uh, if you choose uh, different settings, uh, apply the change, then uh, yeah, so this single screen setting changes like this. And uh, here it says world map and this single block represents a single screen. So map 0, map 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So you can create a world map or a dungeon map which is as large as 16 screens by 16 screens. So uh, uh, 256 screens in total. So for example, NES Zelda's world map is 16 by 8 screens and uh, most of Dragon Quest or Final Fantasy's world map are 16 by 16. Yeah, so this can handle a pretty large map. But I don't know, maybe I'm gonna add uh, another couple of set of this world map because um, for, you know, like a, one is for world map and one is for dungeon and the one is for town or castle, stuff like that. And to draw a screen, first you choose one of these tiles and then choose whatever tile you want. Like this, or like this, or like this. And you can also drag tile like this. Hmm. And this is a erase, erase button. So yeah, let's make some sample map. And in NES Zelda, the top four rows are used for UI and other 11 rows are used for gameplay. So I will left these four rows as, uh, as blank. So And I've added a function to record the current tile placement so you can keep it as a template. From this top menu, you can choose this record current placement. And then, uh, so you can choose a name like uh, Zelda or something. Then when you create the next screen, so go to next screen, and then from here, so you can apply this, like this, so it saves your time. Yeah, like this. So I just uh, created four screens. One, two, three, four. Okay, so let me make a dungeon map too. So I'm gonna choose around here.
Yeah, so this is the basic structure of the dungeon in NES Zelda. You know, it looks kind of simple when you when you see it in the game, but uh, as you can see, actually so many different tiles are used to create this room. So, so the idea of recording the tile placement actually came to me when I was, you know, creating these dungeon maps because yeah, it will be too much pain to repeat this process for every dungeon room. So it would be much easier if I could record this as a, like a template. So dungeon one. And uh, yeah, apply this template like this. So if you want to create a door here, uh, like this. And, uh, yeah. I think uh, this is enough for now and uh, you can always save the map uh, by pressing this save button so yeah you can save the data as a text file and you can export it to desktop or uh, whenever you want and uh, I'm gonna export it to my 2d game project folder so it can be read directly from the program Zelda map and uh, so here's the content of this text file so uh, let me see. so this is map 0 data and the map 0 is this one and this is map 1 this one so basically the editor export all the tile data as number each tile has a number and so in this case this uh, blank tile is number zero, this one, and this ground tile is number number one, like this, and so on. And even if you erase the tiles, you can always load this data, like this. Yeah, so that's basically how it works. So let's check the map that we just created. I'm gonna start from this map number map 0 okay yeah like this hmm yeah then uh, let's check the dungeon too so we have created here. So map number 241. 241 and uh, dungeon 2. Yeah. like this okay so that's it for a quick tour if there is some functions that you think would be a good addition to this editor uh, please let me know this is still work in progress and uh, i'd love to improve it more thanks for watching and uh, have a nice day bye